Hello and uh, welcome our today's guest and it's uh, no introduction, Mr. Marc Lebiedu. Hello coach, how are we doing? I'm going really well, Piotr. I'm really happy to talk to you and um, uh, and to all the followers of Volitar. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we're talking right after Christmas. So uh, to any additional weight, any unexpected weights? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes and no. So, some some additional weight and not unexpected. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, how did you spend your Christmas time? Because we know exactly that uh, you currently live uh, in Poland. So, uh, how did you spend th th this this special time in Poland? Uh, we spent. We we tried to make something a little bit uh, half Polish, half Australian. Uh, so it's good for my son because he gets more presents um, because the, the Polish celebration is m mostly the 24th and the Australian celebration is the 25th. Um, so we, we were uh, together on the, the 24th with, with just us. On the 25th we had some guests and also the 26th actually. So um, yeah, like lots of uh, lots of food, some traditional Polish things, some more Australian things, something something of everything. Okay, so yes, I, I wanted to ask you about uh, about the traditions in Australia because uh, yeah, it's uh, um, it's a bit unknown topic in Poland. So uh, how how do you spend uh, Christmas in Australia? Can you can you share? Uh, a few, few, few traditions, maybe. Do, do you have some traditions like a Christmas tree, like uh, uh, twelve dishes on the table? <laughs> maybe more. Uh, ah, the twelve. I forgot about the twelve dishes. Okay. We have uh, we have Christmas. Christmas Day for us is the twenty fifth, uh, and everything happens on the twenty fifth. So we we will have uh, we have a Christmas tree. We have lights. Uh, everything, uh, everything like this, I think, is is the same. Um, and normally, uh, the big celebration is lunchtime on the twenty fifth. Um, this is the this is the big family uh, the big family occasion. For us, on the twenty fourth is uh, is the time for partying with your friends. So uh, where you go to the pub until till midnight and uh, do all of those things when when I was young of course not uh, not anymore but uh, <laughs> um, well because now I'm in Poland I have the family Christmas on the 24th so okay uh, and so that's the the main the main one you can in it's not I wasn't in my family but it's common in Australia that uh, uh, you have lunch with uh, one set of parents if you and and dinner with another set of parents so you travel you go from one family to the next family and um but we spread all this now over over three days so uh, we have we have a good christmas okay nice to hear that uh, so do you have a kind of tradition that you you before before you before you're starting to eat uh, you, you're waiting for 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 the first star uh, that appears uh, on the sky uh in uh, in australia no because we have lunch on <laughs> okay so. ah yeah okay yeah that's fine yeah so, yeah, so uh, to be honest I, I i couldn't see any stars because of the smoke because uh, i live currently near to krakow so uh, the air is uh, um, very very bad and very dirty but uh, yes. well Okay, what about uh, Christmas dishes in Australia? Because uh, in Poland, for example, you get a, a cabbage with uh, with, with the mushrooms. Uh, we get you yeah. get a cabbage with the peas. You get herrings and of course dumplings. I ate all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, do you have something like 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 that? A special traditions uh, meal? Uh, my mother is English and my father is Russian. Okay. So we had in my family we had some combination and okay. and maybe the English English is turkey and ham for Christmas so okay. some kind some combination of this and uh, then the Russian tradition is to have fifty things on the table um, <laughs> so we we have some combination and okay. some 
some special Australian things like uh, like prawns, like krevetki, um, <laughs> that uh, it's not really English or or Russian or Polish. Or <laughs> Polish, yeah, that's right. Okay, so and do you have your uh, own favorite uh, tradition from, from Poland? We celebrate. Um, what is my favorite? Dumplings. Uh, <laughs> my favorite tradition is the my favorite thing about the Polish Christmas is the weather. So <laughs> okay. even though I even though I grew up in Australia with a hot Christmas in summer, um, I prefer a, I like it better when it's cold, when the it's dark and the the lights are on the houses and we have lights on the houses in Australia, but it's it's never dark, so it doesn't. Uh, the feel, the feeling is really different, and if we can have snow as well, it's uh, it's perfect. But but nowadays we don't have any snow. So okay, yeah. So uh, year twenty twenty uh, is a disaster for for many people. Um, uh, can you summarize it uh, um, from your perspective? How hard was it this year for, for you and your for for your family? uh we we are lucky we we have been lucky because uh we have uh we have a home uh we have a home in jory uh we we didn't have big health problems we didn't have big financial problems we have a home uh so uh for our we were we were lucky uh in in this way um and uh so you know, and we were actually, after many years of traveling a lot, uh, I could spend a few months with my with my son, with my wife. So um, it wasn't good, but uh, from all the possibilities for for us, it was uh, was was okay. Yeah, I'm sure. You 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 said once that uh, you ha you you have time for your new project, and uh, can you share your um, your ideas or your thoughts about uh, those projects? I think the, one of them is uh, your website, marklebedu.com, where you, which is actually a, a fund of uh, volleyball knowledge. So if if you, if you are a young uh, young coach, you can you can visit this website and you can uh, you can learn something about this beautiful sport. Um, can you can you add something? Do you, do you have the other projects you you manage currently uh the the website is something that i've been working on for a long time mm -hmm. um i've been working also on uh on a book for coaches um i didn't i didn't somehow i didn't have enough time for this okay um, but uh uh, but also uh, studying some of the game, I've been working with some uh, some analysts who are who are studying uh, statistics and analytics for volleyball. Uh, so we have been doing uh, some of those things as well. So uh, I have been not on the court, but uh, but still busy with volleyball, maybe more than more than ever. Okay. Uh, any new passions? Did you, did you discover any any new passions? Cooking, maybe? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no. Everything is the same. Uh, okay. My my passions are volleyball and my family, and that's not, that's exactly the same as before. Okay, I understand. So um, you live here currently. You, you you live already a couple of years in Poland. Um, and you have your own spot uh, on Earth, and it's Jory. Uh, yeah. Why why Jor is so special for you? Uh, it's it's the home of my wife. It's okay. where uh, it's where I met my wife. It's uh, it's her uh, it's the home of her family. We live one street from her sister. We live two kilometers from her father. Okay. Um, my my son has cousins. Um, so this is the um, the the center the European center of of uh, of our family and um so it's it's logical to uh, it's logical for us to to be here and and we feel my wife of course but i feel really good here yeah okay it's a bit uh, yeah it's a bit far away from from australia still <laughs> uh yes but every everywhere in europe is the same from australia so if, yeah uh, okay uh, at least we are at least we are close to half of the family 
So currently, you didn't you didn't think about a removal. You you found your you found your own uh, calmness, and uh, you you you'll believe in jewelry. In jewelry, you like it. Uh, for the future that I can see, our our family home will be in jewelry. Okay. From so the the life is the life, and we can yes. move to some place for some while, but for some period. But uh, uh, we will always come back here. Okay, so there was an Englishman in New York, so there is an Australian in Jory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe, hey, oh, hey, did, did you ever think about uh, maybe a new project in Jory? In Jory? Uh, yeah, volleyball project, I mean, of course. Um, not, uh, we talked about some things, uh, my wife and I talked about some things, but um, m most of the time I, I have been busy. Uh, and in the last period, there, there hasn't been uh, really the opportunity to do. Uh, everybody is at home, or the gyms are closed, or okay. uh, yeah. or anything, or everything like that.